call it BNG, that they want to do recycling, they're only going to do it if you force them to do it. So you either have to do it with the government or, as I say, people power, which is a mini revolution with no violence. Until we do that, conferences, conferences like this are all good. The ideas are brilliant. The ideas are right. They're on track. But everybody goes home and nothing happens. Yeah. There was an old gentleman that come with recycling to burn it off. That is the key. That is the key. Forget about the money part. Countries that are developed will come because you're going to buy their equipment and put it in. Next example, Grand Cayman don't have land. Cruise ships come there. Where, what are they doing with the rubbish? We could set up a recycling company here. So instead of ships leaving Jamaica full of fruit and everything going to Grand Caymans and coming back empty, take their rubbish off them charge them and burn the rubbish. So you can make methane from rubbish. You can also recycle rubbish. You can burn rubbish. Methane can run buses, you can run transport, you can run diesel engine cars. The science is out there. We just need the government with the will and people power. It will only come through awareness. So if we can enlighten the Jamaican people, say, boy, one million chubby bottle a day, by next year we're floating. Nobody's gonna come here because it's just land of wood, water, and chubby bottle. <laughs> that you want to really work towards your goal? What would motivate you? Um, what is the main activity that needs to happen to kickstart everything? What's the launch activity? The thing that must happen first? And do we need a time frame? Where do we want to start in one location? Who is to do what? And who is to take the lead? And how is it to be done to get all of this? The what? So the trash for cash? Since we have all these sub things that have come out here, put it as a, a suggestion that might be to review policy and, and to you know, be added. Well, that's well, how many are doing it? I think that's, that's a good thing. That's small. Does it have sound? <laughs> oh, it has sound. Come on. Come on. something to say that we provide this for you and if you don't and if you use, don't it, use right. it we are going to, to charge you. I even went to the police and yeah. I yeah. asked yeah. what that, you know serious and I went to Paris council we got the sign and the command put it up for us mm -hmm. that it will be two thousand dollars and it is there and the sign is there and they are doing it here. Let us do it then. All right, Emmy, I'm just going to get this. Well, referring to what the chief said, I have a problem like that in my community. And what really community is yours? Not Gully. Not Gully. Not Gully. It's St. James. Well, you see, my community, peace and the acting in court and system like a law. You see, if I want to, I want to a plastic bag inside the community. I know so a straight jail. Yes. Straight jail. Yes. And I don't really take back that at all. No, 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 and just yeah, right, because two years a man born and growing at the community. Yeah. You know? I'm not afraid to give nobody a ticket, even my old lady. She right. just sees the place, that me. Yeah. Yeah. That man is yeah. yeah. tough. You know, that system that can't come in. Let me take it back on the experience. No, you see, it's me, we have the power. She just got yeah, right. You need to join it. And you see me, go to the police and say, me the bear you come collect him. I intro the and I go there and just come and go at it so I'm straight here. That's it, you know, it's the next time. Isn't this? Everything before in green. And we saw the bags, stepping over the bags, in front of each house. If you, if majority of the time they fling it over the fence That's and it. might miss the gully and fall right in front exactly. of the road, right? So you saw the piles of bags that we skipped exactly. over. That's Not it. only that. I wasn't, I mean, I was this close to a bag 
I while we were walking, a bat flung was blowing <laughs> over, and somebody told me duck. There are piles along the way in front of houses. It is very easy for us to monitor this and for us to, 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 for us to um, penalize persons. And people, are, I mean, I don't know why people are saying, oh, it might, it's a problem. We can penalize people. Even if somebody comes with a bag and trade in there, if you didn't stop that person, then you're going to be charged for it. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. so all we will try to organize our poverty center. We are um, the now we don't need to donate it by the government or the community farmers. We are in the farmers collect those, collect it and um, maybe use it on their farm. In turn, the, the community will benefit, maybe get it at a cheaper rate. Uh, we were looking at building partnerships and specifically looking at the problem of dealing with a uh, lack of infrastructure. Um, so looking at, here's our big thing, we have this, this, big, this big issue that, that there's a lot of, a large volume of waste beyond the capacity out there, or the infrastructure you might say, to deal with it. And some of the big contributing factors were poor roads, you know, so there's, it's hard to get trucks to, to take the stuff away. Um, people's attitudes, um, awareness, and the interrelatedness of rural and urban, urban practices and the impacts of them. We, we had one big goal, which was to basically reduce the volume of, of garbage by something like 75% in the next three years, looking at the, the fact that 50% is compostable and really, by rights, should not be going up to a, a disposal site anyway. Letters should be written to the parish council and private, any kind of private sectors, get people in the community involved hopefully to form a group and say we are a group and we're serious yeah. and not just one one crazy person talking about this. Um, right, we are many crazy people and we have a voice. Try to get, get, get some community fund generation going on and, and fundraising and people, not only to, to generate some funds on your own, to try to attract outside funds because funding agencies want to see that you're doing something for yourself first um, ensemble to start things off. consequences of improper garbage disposal, and two, the empowerment of a people, our empowerment, to make positive changes. Now just to show you an example of public awareness in action, one of our um, team members went home last evening and her daughter asked her what was this green tag all about, and she tried to explain to her that she was at a seminar and what it was all about, and 11 years old, Ashley Hunter wrote this one overnight. And it says, do not throw garbage in the rivers. It will make sea creatures shiver. Do not throw chemicals anywhere. It will destroy our atmosphere. Recycle your goods for the country's sake. Clean up your yard, brush and rake. Clean up your country every time. Jamaica will always have a smile. We are the poor. We, we have the power to influence the change. If we don't pressure any 